Hi, I'm Katie Couric and welcome to Eye to Eye. Civil war in Sudan has left millions of innocent victims dependent on foreign food aid for their very survival. Our Alan Pizzi traveled with the new director of the World Food Program, Josette Sheeran, to the ravaged region of Darfur to see firsthand how that food aid is being handed out. Have you ever in any of your many incarnations had a reception like you just got over there? Well, it's very, very heartwarming and it gives you a sense that progress is being made despite all the challenges here. We know that malnutrition rates have gone down 50% since 2004. We see these beautiful children. They look so beautiful and so healthy. And just like children all over the world, they have hope for the future. They want to return home. They want to have a chance in life. They want an education. And so it inspires me and it should inspire everyone who's making a contribution to Darfur to continue even though you hear about the challenges with security, which are very real, and we're losing some of our gains. I heard that in the meeting. What, what are you losing? What, what's, what's, what's falling behind? Well, because we, we've had a series of carjackings uh, since June of last year, the World Food Program has had 45 incidents, security incidents. We're still in the deep field, um, but we have to obviously be very concerned about the safety of our people. And for many organizations, they've had to shut down operations uh, in the deeper field where sometimes you have isolated groups of people that need help. So we've been able to achieve uh, the world community working together here, 70% clean water for people. But we've heard of some areas now that aren't being able to get access to water because people have had to leave those areas. So, uh, you know, our main message is humanitarian workers, we need to operate. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. We need to operate to help those people who are vulnerable in these situations. And you look at the faces of these children. They have not contributed to this in any way. And we have to make sure we can reach them with food and water and hopefully education uh, so that when uh, hopefully peace comes, they can return uh, to their villages and then begin a productive life. They can't lose these years here. So uh, I feel very hopeful meeting them, though, because I can sense the sense of hope that these children have. You spoke to your staff yesterday. You said you'd coined a motto for WFP. Tell me what that motto was again. Well, when I, uh, before I came to the World Food Program, I had talked to people in villages around the world, and my motto for WFP then was, nothing gets between the World Food Program and a hungry child. And you see our people all over the world. Sometimes they're the only ones there in very risky situations. But we have attracted a great group of people from all over the world who are just committed to make sure children get a meal. It doesn't matter what it takes, planes, helicopters, elephants, herds of camel. We've seen donkeys bringing in food here. We'll do what it takes to be able to reach people, often at great risk to our own staff. What prompted you to take this job? Did you ask for it or did they come to you and why did you take it? Well, I spent the past year working on uh, the high-level panel on coherence in the UN system for on development and humanitarian affairs that Kofi Annan asked me to serve on. And in that, I visited villages all over the world and I kept hearing one thing, that the World Food Program was really saving lives. And it gave me a deep appreciation of this organization. And so uh, when the position opened and I was asked if I would consider coming, I thought this is one organization that uh, it really made me feel this is the purpose-driven life. This is an organization that's saving lives every day. We see it here in Darfur. We see it despite really the most incredible odds uh, I, that would keep us from really creating a situation of hope, but we see a situation of hope here. Are you getting the cooperation you need from the government here? Well, we get a lot of cooperation from the government on many levels. What is really needed is the security situation to improve. We need all parties to respect humanitarian workers and their need to be able to reach people safely. There are many parties here, many that have power in different levels and forms, and we need the respect of all of them. It's about these children, and that's what the humanitarian workers are here to do. The main theme of the World Food Program is no matter what's going on, if there's a tsunami, if there's an earthquake, if there's a war, if peace isn't going to come, even in our lifetime, we have to be there. So we will be there no matter what happens, but we will also push strongly for the security of our people. We have to.